What better way to start your Friday than running a 5K and enjoying the trails here at New River Gorge? We are less than one hour from the 5K. What am I talking about? We are live at the Fayetteville Town Park, and I'm joined by Andrew Massio. He is the event organizer. Folks, we have a 5K tonight. We have a half marathon. We have a 50K, and how many people are signed up so far? Yeah, so between all three events, there's over 300 registrants from over 25 states, so we're super excited about it. That's awesome. And what can runners expect as they make their way through the 5K course, the half marathon, and the 50K? Yeah, so the trail's in excellent condition. Even though we've had a little bit of rain, it's still really solid footing out there. Great trail running conditions, and you're going to get scenic views of the New River Gorge Bridge and the gorge below. So. That's awesome. Right now, this is the beginning and the end of the 5K, so folks will be lining up here in less than one hour. Let's take a look at your weather forecast because you see there's some rain in our forecast. We've had some rain here at the park, and on the radar, we have a couple of more showers off towards the south and east. We are not done with the rain across southern West Virginia just yet till about 9 o'clock. The culprit is an area of low pressure to our south, which as it moves north will continue to produce showers this evening. That will end later tonight. We'll deal with some fog in the morning, and our temperatures are generally in the low 70s across the region. Here's your forecast going forward through the morning. Our temperatures will drop into the 60s. The rain will end. We'll have some patchy river fog tomorrow. We'll be in the low 60s when you wake up in the morning, but I guarantee the runners will only have a couple of sprinkles on Saturday. And we've got a beautiful Sunday in store. We will have more in your complete forecast coming up in just a couple minutes. We are live here in Fayetteville. Greetings, everybody. We are live in Fayetteville, West Virginia. And what way, what better way to kickstart your weekend than to run a 5K and enjoy the New River Gorge Festival? What we have here is Andrew Massio. And Andrew is actually the event organizer. We have a 5K this evening, a half marathon, and a 50K. And can you tell folks the scenic tour that people will get, runners will get on the race this evening? Oh, absolutely. We're, we're super excited to have this race here. New River Gorge is a fantastic location. People are going to get to run under the New River Gorge Bridge tonight on the 5K course, and then tomorrow for the 50K and Half Marathon. They're going to get to go down on Craig Banch Road and Kmore Trail and get amazing views of the gorge below and the bridge. So we're super excited for it. Oh my gosh, we are super excited too because the weather is fine. We have a couple of showers likely working north, but I tell you what, the trail is probably in great condition because it's been relatively dry. What best way to uh, view the trail as you go through the 5k tonight at seven o'clock so there'll be lots of people coming in and also pack your pickup for the half marathon and the 50k and let's take a look at your weather forecast because it does look a little bit ominous to the south we do have a couple of showers on radar that will scoot through so if it's not raining where you are right now it'll be guaranteed to shower here this evening but the good news is it'll taper off later this evening the wider view shows low pressure is just to our south and that low is helping to draw in the moisture but fortunately it'll be dry out this evening for the race tomorrow just a couple of sprinkles during the midday, but take a look at your temperatures. We're down to low to mid 60s by the way, time you wake up in the morning with a little bit of patchy valley fog. As we come live back here to Fayetteville, thank you very much, Andrew. I hope the race is a success. Right now, here's the start and finish line. And we hope to have at least about 150 runners here this evening in Fayetteville. Reporting live from Fayetteville, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill. Good evening. We are live at the Charlie McCoy Town Park, and behind me is the start and finish line for the 5K. This is the start of the New River Gorge Trail Festival. We've got the 50K tomorrow and the half marathon, and folks are lining up. Some folks are picking up their packet for tomorrow. Some folks are running the 5K, which is, hey, begins in 46 minutes. We'll have 120 runners coming through here. This is a great opportunity to enjoy the trails at New River Gorge. You might be wondering, what's the weather going to be like? Let's check out the conditions right now. We did have a shower a little bit earlier. That shower is off to the east of Fayetteville. But there's a couple of more roaming through southern West Virginia. This rain won't taper off, folks, until about 8 o'clock this evening. And then after that, we'll have some fog. Now, as we take a wider view, the reason for this storminess is a low pressure across the Tennessee Valley, which has been slowly moving northward over the last couple of days. It will produce a couple of more sprinkles on your Saturday. Now, as we go forward in time, temperatures are generally in the low. 70s across the region. Average high is about 80 degrees. So not too bad this time of the year. It's a little bit humid though. Now let's take a look a little bit forward here and what we're going to see with our weather tomorrow is a couple of sprinkles. Sunday, hazy, hot, humid. Go to the pools, enjoy the outdoors. And then late Sunday after 9 30, a couple of storms are going to move through. No severe weather. 
That's the start of a cold front that's going to take about two days to move through here. So we're going to have some showers and storms again Monday and a couple of showers on Tuesday. And then we finally dry it out Wednesday and Thursday as that storm system finally moves to the I-95 corridor. Now, in the tropics, we do have Brett and we do have Cindy. Neither of those storms are going to impact our region. Brett staying well to the south. Cindy will turn, but the upper level trough coming into the east is going to kick it even further east of the coast. So no problems, and it actually will probably dissipate as it gets intertwined with some wind shear that will rip it apart as it moves off towards Bermuda. So no threat in the tropics. Your seven-day forecast, folks. We are in the 70s once again on Saturday with a couple of sprinkles during the midday. Sunday, 83 degrees, hazy, hot, and humid. Get out in the river, get out in the pools. 82 degrees on Monday, but again, early morning and late-day storms. A couple of showers Tuesday, and then we finally break into that pleasant weather pattern, less humid Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday we see temperatures in the low 80s. We're coming back here, and guess what, folks? The sun is now shining. Look at that. The sun is shining. In 44 minutes, we're going to have folks towing the line for the 5K, and no one out there running yet, but I guarantee you this, even though it has rained and the pavement's wet, these trails are blocked by a canopy of trees so the trails are dry. Should be great weather to run the 5K. You can register this evening all the way up through tomorrow morning for the half marathon and the 50K. Again, we are live in Fayetteville, but we have more news and sports right after this break.